today's episode is of uh, famous functions is um, Dave Matthews, and I chose Dave Matthews um, not just because I like him. I, uh, I like him about as much as I like Avril Lavigne, which is a lot. But um, he's really interesting uh, contrast to Avril Lavigne because while Avril Lavigne has really strong extroverted thinking and really really weak introverted feeling. Dave Matthews is exactly the opposite. Here's his old chart. Um, he is an... I tried to draw the introversion... I, I drew the line a little bit here because he's not... I mean, he's got a lot more... He's got more extroversion than, say, George Lucas or myself. But he's still an introvert. Um, pick, uh, the most notice, notable thing about Dave Matthews, in my opinion, is that he has um, really strong extroverted perception. His um, extroverted sensation is really strong, and I'm calling him an ISFP. I, he may be an N, but I'm going with S. Um, I'm pretty, sh pretty sure he is an ISFP. But the reason it could be hard to uh, get confusing is because you, you have in Dave Matthews an instance of where his N-E is also really strong. Um, so a lot, yeah, how do I, what else do I say about that? It just means that, um, he's, there's just a certain type of person who sort of consumes extroverted, um, extroverted perception and does it, um, very effectively, and Dave Matthews is definitely one of these people. I also see in him a good deal of N.I., so he has a pretty strong N.I., and that gives him sort of this broad world perspective, you know, like, he, um, he taps into a kind of depth with, you know, a lot of his, um, just his interest and in, in wide perspective on the world, I think, is brought to him by his N.I. But also, you see here, this is the exact opposite. Avril, Avril had strong of this, T.E., and very weak of this. And now when Dave Matthews gets depressed, he does it in the way... The strong FI weak TE people do it. <laughs> Whereas when Avril gets depressed, she gets depressed in the way that strong TE weak FI people do it. Uh, and a lot, yeah, so I mean, a lot of like um, Dave's uh, songs will be sort of, they're all rich with feeling. And a lot of times he's just, he's kind of seeking, well, why, you know, why can't people just feel their way through things? Like, why why can't they access that strong feeling? Um, and I think a little you can hear there's a you can detect kind of a aspect of disorientation when it comes to applying logical you know extroverted logic. Um, and some of his band's um, decisions over time, like Dave Matthews would get really depressed, and then it would take like um, his drummer who I think probably has strong extroverted thinking, to, like, come in and change the direction of the band. Say, like, okay, we're not doing it this way anymore. Because Dave Matthews all by himself doesn't, doesn't have the extroverted thinking to be able to course correct, uh, or didn't, in that, um, at, in that way. And this was at the end of Crash, or at the end of um, Don't, Don't Drink the Water, whatever album Don't Drink the Water was on you know, the band had to course correct, and I think you get a, a good instance of where it helps to have friends who are good at other functions.